Hi, I'm Josh, and welcome to Real Football 2010. Today we're going to go over the basic controls, and I'll show you some tricks. There are a lot of fun ways to play, but I recommend starting with training mode to familiarize yourself with the controls and player movement. The game allows you to select teams from across the world. You can then choose your stadium, customize your game settings, and then start the match. Let's start with basic movement. To run, simply drag the movement pad in any direction. To sprint, drag your finger further away in the direction you choose. For passing, wait until you see a yellow arrow appear somewhere on screen. This means that a player on your team is ready to receive a pass. Shooting is very similar. Simply tap the A button when you're ready to take a shot. When defending, tap and hold B to press, or A for a slide tackle. Watch your slide tackles though because you don't want to trip the other player and get a yellow card. When your team gets a throw in, tilt the iPod from left to right and choose your angle. Then, push it forward to initiate the throw. Now for some advanced controls. To perform a 1-2, press B twice to kick the ball to one of your teammates and have them kick it back to you right away. For a Marseille roulette, have your finger make a circle around an empty space on the touchpad while you're running with the ball. When you're close to the corner flags, press the B button and slide your finger towards the top to perform a cross kick. To do a step over, touch the middle of the screen while you're on offense. Finally, for a flip flap, just tap the screen twice when you're running with the ball. After you've made a cool play or scored a goal, you should save it as a replay. From the replay menu, you can review your saved replays from different angles. Use the bar at the bottom to adjust your view however you want. You can adjust the horizontal or the vertical to see the same play from a different angle. And that's it for now. We hope you enjoy Real Football 2010.